All right, if you're thinking about moving to Duluth, Georgia, then this video is up your alley. So as a Duluth realtor and a Duluth resident, I'm going to walk you through through a variety of potential home choices, starting at the $4 million mark, and we're going to work our way all the way down to the 400 and something thousand dollar mark. So y'all check it out. What's up, y'all? Rip the Realtor. I am a realtor in the metro Atlanta area, and this channel is all about helping people move to the suburbs of the Atlanta area. So this one is all going to be about Duluth and what you can get for $4 million and what you can get for $470,000. So y'all check it out. I think you're going to like it. So here we go checking out a few Duluth homes. Now I've picked out a pretty eclectic group of homes. Um, we've gone from as much as $4 million to less than half a million dollars. So let's check out a few homes. This first one, this is one of the big daddies. This is the expensive one. This comes in just under $4 million. It's in Sugarloaf Country Club. Um, that is a TPC country club, meaning that uh, a tournament player. So the golf course, there's a lot of, a lot of tournaments on there. Um, a lot of people love that neighborhood. It's a gated neighborhood. Obviously, this is a beautiful home with a uh, in-ground pool in the back. Um Custom home, custom built. A lot of the homes in Sugarloaf Country Club are custom built homes. Um, it's seven bedrooms, seven baths, two half baths. So you got a total of nine baths. Crazy. Um, looks like you have a separate little bonfire burn pit area over there. You've got a spillover hot tub into the pool with a little cabana out there. Um, definitely could see myself out there hanging out. You've got a, a, looks like a quadruple waterfall next to your outdoor kitchen and your mounted TV. I could definitely get used to that. There's your, uh, looks like gas, uh, fueled, um, little bonfire area to sit around with the family, lighted waterfall. You even got the palm trees going around. We don't have too many palm trees in Georgia, so that's super nice. Uh, outdoor fire pit over there. It might even be an outdoor pizza oven. Um, just beautiful outdoor space to be able to, um, to really any type of entertainment you need to do. You're going to be able to get it at this house. Cool. A lot of, uh, mixed construction on the front with the stacked stone and the stucco. Beautiful foyer. Looks like marble floors. Grand staircase going up. Plenty of dining area. Obviously, I mean, you are not going to find probably a small room in this house is going to have plenty of room. Two story living room. This is also, it's located right off Sugarloaf Parkway is where Sugarloaf Country Club is, which is just a couple of minutes from jumping on Interstate 85. So super convenient. It's also near Sugarloaf Mills, which is a little mall shopping area. So super convenient. So here's where we're at on this home. This is all uh, Sugarloaf Country Club in here. And if we back out a little bit, you'll see the entrance to Sugarloaf Country Club is right over in this area here. Um, and if you continue coming down Sugarloaf, let me back out just a little bit. You'll see here's 85. So you got Sugarloaf Parkway running straight to 85. Here's the home. Like I said, it's just a couple of minutes from 85. Um, and then this huge area right here, we'll zoom in a little bit. That is Sugarloaf Mills. Tons of shopping, uh, tons of restaurants. Everything that you need is right around that area. So you can see how convenient this house is. But you're not really paying for convenience for this house. This house's price is all wrapped up in the location, specifically meaning the neighborhood that it's in. People love Sugarloaf Country Club. It's a very prestigious neighborhood. And then obviously the home is just is beautiful. So let's take a look at took you to the four million. 
might be just out of somebody else's price range. So let's look at what you can get for just under a million um, in Duluth. Now, again, this is another one that is at a country club. Um, this is in St. Marlowe, another great neighborhood, another great golf course community. Um, I believe this is a yep six bedroom, five bath house. Um, let's see what we got inside. So you got the catwalk stairs up above looking down across going across the uh, two story vaulted living room. Um, obviously separate dining room little office i love this wall of windows you know there's certain things when you're looking at a house you might see a um a wall painted a terrible color and i'll have clients that just go i hate the color let's move on you can change the color that's the easiest thing in the world to do what you can't change is when you go i want my living room to be brightly lit it's a lot harder to come in and add a bunch of windows so that's why i love this house it's full of windows, full of light, big grand two-story living room. Love that. Kitchen opens up to it. Great island. Everything's updated. Backsplash is updated. Got a little butler's pantry going into the dining room, bathroom, the oversized master bedroom. Look at that. That's amazing. Got the tray ceilings all trimmed out beautifully with a uh, separate fireplace and sitting area. Love that with the mosaic tile on going up the fireplace. So this is a great house, updated bathrooms, great house for just under a million dollars. And I know you're going, man, a million dollars, that's a lot of money. Million dollars just unfortunately does not go as far as it used to. Obviously, the market's gotten hotter, but this is a beautiful house for a million dollars. Great finished basement, more living space. Uh, that's one thing one of my clients who is not from Georgia, from a different part of the country, thought was a really cool thing that the basements here are a completely uh, just another floor of living space. You know, our basements, if they're finished off, we typically have living space, maybe a kitchenette, a bedroom or two, a bathroom. So it's just another floor to our to the home. Great little space that they've created for sitting outdoors taking it all in. So that's what you can get for just under a million dollars in Duluth. Now let's go a little bit further down. This one, let's take a look. This is uh, this gives you a good example. I've told you that we have a, a pretty diverse choice of housing in Duluth. We've got condos, we've got single family homes, we've got townhomes. So here's an example of a townhome that's a little over a half million. Uh, so four bedroom, three and a half bath, craftsman style architectural above the garage. This is a great thing about this townhome is it is a two car garage, which means your driveway holds two cars, which may sound funny, but a lot of townhomes, they're just single car garages, which means you only have a single car driveway which is less room for your cars. It's uh, plenty of space in, it's updated, it has the lighter birch type hardwood floors. You can see walking in, you're gonna be walking into the kitchen, beautiful kitchen, updated, island, eat-in kitchen. I love the living room here, has really become the thing in more modern architectural to have the fireplace with no hearth. It's just uh, even with the wall, gas powered. Typically in townhomes, you're not going to see the super oversized master bedrooms. It's still a great size master bedroom, but a lot of uh, the single family homes now that are being built just have these huge master bedrooms. It's almost like a whole nother living space. In townhomes, you're not going to see that as much. It's still a great space, still plenty of room, still beautiful walk-in shower, separate tub. But again, you're not just going to see the massive master bedrooms like you do see in some of the uh, newer single family homes. Great space upstairs. Looks like they have kind of like this open little area for a uh, loft that you can turn into an office, game room, whatever it may be. Not a big fan of the Florida Gator shower curtain. That needs to be changed to having a Georgia Bulldog on it. And I'm sure this house will sell for a lot more at that point. Great space too with townhomes. You don't find a whole lot of outdoor living space. Not that this yard is huge, but it does have a great space. You've got fencing on the back and you really is fully fenced in, but it's got some good yard space. You got a dog, you've got a young one to play the ball with, throw around the ball. You've got space for it. So this is a great townhome 
for just over a half million dollars in the Duluth area. Here's another great town home. Now, this one is actually, this is under a uh, half million dollars. It's at 479. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Um, it is in a neighborhood that's uh, pretty new. It's right near downtown Duluth. So here's where this home is located. Um, this is downtown Duluth right here. Um, a lot of great spaces. Showed you guys some of the fun things to do in downtown Duluth. Um, this is a major road that runs on the backside of downtown Duluth called Buford Highway. And so all you do is take Buford Highway down just a little bit. And you're going to turn off that and you're going to find this townhome community sitting right there um, off of Buford Highway. It's a great location. Again, three, two and a half. It's less than half million dollars. Um, to try and get this house, you know, one thing I like to always check is days on the market. This is uh, active DOM, active days on the market, 29 days. So 29 days is um, that's a little bit of a long time in this market. Um, so what I like to do is kind of check the history just to see if, if there, for some reason it was under contract, went back out of contract and that was the issue, but, um, doesn't look like it. It looks like it came on the market at 489 and they dropped it about $10,000. Um, so here, here's a good example. So with this thing, if, if I scroll down here and active days on the market was, three to five days and I'll talk to the agent and they've got several other agents that are offering or talking about making an offer, then we might come five to 10% over. We might come $20,000 over the home. You know, who knows? I try and get a really good idea from the agent. With this coming down already 10,000 and being on the days almost uh, being on the market for almost a month. Again, I would call the agent if she doesn't or he doesn't. I'm not sure who has it listed. But if they don't have any current offers and they're not talking to anyone else, then you should be able to get this thing at list price, if not just a little bit cheaper. But again, it'd be a great deal for less than half million dollars. It's pretty much new construction. It was built just a couple of years ago in 2020. But yeah, just beautiful townhome if you want to do a townhome. So a lot of people will see this and they may not know how to move forward in making an offer because there's several things that you've got to consider, right? So we looked at days on the market. It's been on the market for a little bit longer than normal. Back when it was a, a balanced market, 30 days on the market is a big deal. In today's market, when I see that it's been on there for 30 days, that means we're going to be able to negotiate a little bit. And again, I'm going to call the agent. I'm going to get some information from them. Hey, what kind of feedback have you had on the home? Do you have any current offers on the home? Anybody who's talking about making an offer anytime soon? And then based on that information is how I'm now going to advise my client, right? So at the very simplest level, a lot of interest, a lot of offers. We're going to have to come with a bigger offer, get more creative with our terms. Not much interest, been sitting on the market a little bit longer. We're going to see, can we get this for a little bit better deal? Can we get the seller to pay some closing costs? Can we get the home for just a little bit less? So if you guys need help, you need some insight on kind of the tactic, the system, the plan on making an offer, love to talk to you. Give me a call. The last home that I want to show you, it's, a, it's another home for under a half million dollars in Duluth. Um, but this one is a single family. Last one I showed you was a town home. Maybe town homes, not your cup of tea. You want a, uh, a single family detached home. Just so you guys know, detached means a home that is obviously not attached to anything. So if you hear of a detached single family home, that's, that's what you might think of just like a house. Right. I mean, they're all houses, but it's your very classic thought of what a house is. If we say attached home, that means it's a town home. It's a condo. The biggest difference between condo town home is, is the ownership, but also a town home. You own everything below the home and the sky above it. I know it sounds kind of weird, but that's that's the way town home ownership is. Now, a condo. 
you own sheetrock in, meaning you only own what is within the walls, above the floor, below the ceiling, just inside there. That's the difference between a condo and a townhome. Single family home, you obviously you own the, the lot that it's on and the home that's on it. But let's take a look at this single family detached home for less than half a million dollars. It's a four bedroom, two and a half baths. It sits on a half acre. That's a great lot size for Duluth. Um, and it's been on the market for 22 days. So we might could do a little wheeling and dealing on this one as well. Great classic Southern porch, rocking chair style front porch with uh, looks like a little terrace up top, maybe coming off the master bedroom. Plenty of room for per- porch furniture. Sits off the road a little bit in a cul-de-sac. That is very highly desired around here. People want a cul-de-sac so that their kids can play and not have speeding cars a little bit older cabinets you can tell by with the trim work going above the window some of the uh the hinges and the cabinet hardware great looking floors looks like real hardwood floors from the pictures stack stone fireplace double ceiling fans not sure why you would need double ceiling fans. I guess it's just a large room. Um, looks like it opens into maybe a dining area. I would even consider taking these off. Those would be easy to remove. It doesn't look like they're load bearing. Doesn't look like there's any AC or heat vents. So, or electrical outlets. So nothing running through there that makes it tough to take those little walls out. Little eat in kitchen with your bay window. There's that top terrace that we saw in the front picture. Looks like it does come off that master bedroom. Towel might need a little bit updating, but again, we are uh, in one of the cheaper prices, especially for a four bedroom home to be under a half million and to be on a half acre as well. So there's probably going to be a little bit of updating that needs to happen, maybe a little painting. Full finished basement. It does have the drop ceiling, but now I tell you, you can get so cool with some of these drop tile. They have all kinds of different styles, different colors, different looks to where it doesn't even look like a drop ceiling. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, drop ceiling in basements is pretty common to put these grids in. And then once you have the grids in, then you order your ceiling tile and they just literally drop in there. Thus the name drop ceiling. It's like you got a little bit of carpet wrinkling. There are guys that can stretch that carpet without having to replace it. The carpet still looks good. Great little backyard area. Great flat back deck. Looks like the yard is pretty flat as well. Yeah, overall, just great lot. Great house, especially for under half a million dollars. And with it being on the market for 22 days, you might could do a little bit of negotiating. Haven't been on there for a long time, but it looks like they've already had a price drop. Let's check out the history on that real quick. Yep, looks like they came on as a coming soon at $4.99. Only 22 days later, they've dropped it almost $25,000. So that also tells me something else. I wouldn't have dropped it that significantly in just 22 days, but I don't know if that was their realtor who gave them that advice or if they made that decision. But regardless to me, so two things come to mind when I see that. One, the home is vacant, right? So as we flip through the pictures, didn't look like there was any furniture in there. And two, the home has only been on the market for 22 days and they've already dropped it $25,000. So between those two things right there, that tells me that seller is motivated to sell. They've already got their stuff out. They've probably moved into somewhere else. They've already got their next home and they were super impatient with dropping $25,000. That's a lot of money. So to drop that in just over, barely over three weeks, they obviously, they are motivated to sell this thing. So that would be a home if I had a client who is interested that I know that we could do some negotiating on. So if you are considering moving to uh, Duluth, Georgia, I would love to help you out. Whether you are considering the luxury golf community lifestyle and you're looking at the $4 million home, or if you're looking at trying to stay under a half million dollars for you and your family, uh, I can help you with both and love to answer any questions and be able to walk you through that whole process. So subscribe if you have not already done that. If you haven't, I'm not sure what you're waiting on, but please subscribe. Give me a call. You'll see the number at the bottom and I'll actually be the one to answer the call. So would love to talk to you. Love y'all. Peace.